Hello everyone, welcome to Unlock Maths. Today we have to discuss method of partial fraction for proper rational function. Right? So let's consider if we have rational function this f of x is equals to this p of x by q of x. Where this p of x and q of x, these both are polynomials and we have to consider this function as a proper rational function. That means here we have this degree of p of x is less than this degree of q of x. Then this function is called proper rational function, right? Yes, what is proper rational function? Rational function in which degree of numerator is less than degree of denominator. Otherwise, it is called improper rational function, right? Yes, now we have considered this is as a proper rational function. Now, let's consider this q of x. Yes, can be factorized. This is as this x plus a and this x plus b. Yes, we have factorized this q of x into non-repeated linear factors, right? This a and b, these are the constants that may be positive or negative. Then we have this p of x by q of x. We can write this is as, yes, this denominator, this is as this q of x. We can write this is as here. Yes, we have factorized this denominator in non-repeated linear factors, right? Now, how to resolve this is in partial fraction? Yes, we have to write here this is a upon this x plus a plus b upon this x plus b, right? Where this a and b, these are the constants which we have to find here. Yes, this is the, yes, here we have resolved this rational function in partial fraction, right? Similarly, if we consider this q of x, if we factorize this is in three linear factors, right? Then what is we have here? This is p of x upon this x plus a, x plus b, x plus c, right? Then how to resolve this is in partial fraction? Yes, here we have this is a upon x plus a plus b upon this x plus b plus c upon this x plus c. Yes, we have resolved this function in partial fraction where we have to find the values of a, b, c, right? Now, here we have to note down that, yes, here we can check that here we have factorized this q of x into linear factor, right? That means degree of this q of x is 2. Yes, so here we have to take this 2 constant in this way. Similarly, we have, yes, here q of x is of degree 3, right? That means we have resolved this is in 3 linear factor, right? So we have to take constant, 3 constant a, b, c and we have to write down this partial fraction in this way, right? So yes, let's consider one example here. Yes, let's we have this function, this f of x, this is 2x upon this x square 3x plus 2. Now we have to resolve this is in partial fraction. Yes, this is proper rational function since here degree of numerator is less than degree of denominator, right? So first what we have to do, yes, we have to factorize this denominator. So what is the factorization? This is x plus 1 into x plus 2, right? Now we have to resolve this is in partial fraction. So yes, here we have two factors. So these are the two non-repeated linear factors. So what we have to do, we have to write this is a upon this x plus 1 plus b upon x plus 2, right? We have this two linear factors, right? So for this, yes, here degree of this denominator is 2 that means here we have to take two constants a and b in this way right now we have to simplify this is so for this we have to do cross multiplication of this one so here we have in denominator x plus 1 into x plus 2 and now here this is a into x plus 2 plus b into x plus 1 right and this side this is as it is 
yes now yes we can check that this both side this denominator is same here so we can cancel out this denominator so here we have this is 2x equals to a into x plus 2 plus b into x plus 1 yes this denominator is same so we have we can cancel that now yes we can check that this equation yes here we have three unknowns this a b and x now we have to find the values of a and b so how to find the value of a and b yes for finding the values of a we have to consider this is as a this x plus 1 as a 0 yes when we consider x plus 1 as a 0 that means we get x is equals to minus 1 right that means by putting x is equals to minus 1 this get 0 so that we will get value of a right so yes we have to write yes we can write here this is to find a what we have to put here put x is equals to minus 1 so we get here this is a into this minus 1 plus 2 and we have put this is x plus 1 as a 0 that means this complete term gets 0 right so this is we get here value of a so what is a here a is equals to this is minus 2 right in the same manner we have to find value of b here so for this what we have to do yes for finding b we have to put x plus 2 is equals to 0 right so yes this to find b what we have to do we have to put x plus 2 is equals to 0 that means x is equals to minus 2 so we have to put x is equals to minus 2 in this equation so here by 1 we get here this is 2 into minus 2 we have put x plus 2 as a 0 that means this a into 0 right and this b into x is equals to minus 2 that means this is here right this is minus 4 this is 0 and this b into minus 1 so b is equals to this we get here 4 right so in this way we have find a is equals to minus 2 and b is equals to 4 right and we have to put values in this equation right so what we have here yes we can write this is 2x upon x plus 1 x plus 2 right what is a here a is minus 2 upon this x plus 1 b is this is 4 upon x plus 2 right yes we have put value of a and b in this equation so we got this is here so we have resolved this function in partial fraction yes when we simplify this is we get this function right so yes we have to remember that how to find values of a and b right now let's consider another way for finding a and b yes for finding a yes what we have to do yes we have to put x is equals to minus 1 and yes what we have to write here yes this is we have put x is equals to minus 1 so yes we have to cancel out this factor so we got this is 2x upon this x plus 2 now check that when we put x is equals to minus 1 what we get here this is 2 into minus 1 and this is minus 1 plus 2 this is here what we get here this is minus 2 upon minus 1 that means this is minus 2 now we have to find b here so for b what we have to do we have to put yes yes check here denominator of b is x plus 2 right so we have to put x plus 2 is equals to 0 that means x is equals to minus 2 now we have to put x is equals to minus 2 on this side by avoiding this factor right so here uh, avoid this x plus 2 this is 2x upon x plus 1 right so put here x is equals to minus 2 so when we put x is equals to minus 2 yes x is equals to minus 2 here 
So what we got here, this is minus 4 upon minus 1. So this is 4 here. Right? So before this we have find, yes, we can check that. We have find same values of A and B. So this is, yes, this is the simplest way to find values of A and B. Right? Both meaning of both method are same. Just way of writing is get differ here. Right? How to remember this is here, we have resolved this is in partial fraction, we have to find the value of A and B. For finding A, yes, check this denominator, we have to put x plus 1 equals to 0, that means x is equals to minus 1 and put x is equals to minus 1 on this side by avoiding this factor. So here we have 2x upon x plus 2, right? On simplification, we get value of A. Now, for finding B, put x plus 2 is equal to 0, right? On this side, x plus 2 is equal to 0, that means x is equal to minus 2. By avoiding this x plus 2 factor, so here we have 2x upon x plus 1, right? So, we got this A and B. Similarly, let's consider next example here. If we have this x plus 1, this is x cube minus 5x square plus 4x. Yes, we have to resolve this is in partial fraction. Now, what we have to do? Yes, this is proper rational function. So, we can check that. Yes, we can factorize this is here. Yes, we have x common here. So, we can take x common from this one. So, here we have x square minus 5x plus 4. Right? Now, what is factorization of this is here we have x minus 1 and this x minus 4 right yes now here we have factorized this is in 3 linear factor so how to write down this is in partial fraction yes we have to take 3 constants a b c in such way that this is a upon x plus b upon this x minus 1 plus c upon x minus 4, right? Now, we have to find a, b, c, right? So, how to find a here? We have to put x is equals to 0. Yes, x is equals to 0 on this side by eliminating this x. So, when we this eliminate, when we avoid this x, we get here this x plus 1 upon x minus 1, x minus 4. Now put x is equals to 0 here. So yes, x is equals to 0. That means this is 1 and this is minus 1, minus 4. So here we have this is 1 by 4. Right? Similarly, find b. For finding b, what we have to do? We have to put x minus 1 equals to 0. That means x is equals to 1. Right? We have to put x is equals to minus 1 on this side by avoiding this x minus 1, this factor. So, here we have remaining factor x plus 1, x into x minus 4. We have to put x is equals to 1 here. That means this is 2, 1 plus 1, 2 and this is, yes, this is 1 and 1 minus 4. That means this is 2 by minus 3 right similarly we have to find c here so how to find c yes for finding c what we have to do yes we have to put x minus 4 equals to 0 that means x is equals to 4 right we have to put x is equals to 4 on this side by eliminating x minus 4 right so put x is equals to 4 here yes for x plus 1, x into x minus 1. We have to eliminate this factor, right? Now put x is equals to 4. This is 4 plus 1, 4 into 4 minus 1. So on simplification, this is 5 and this is 12, right? So C, we got here, this is 5 by 12. So in this way, we have find values of A, B, C and we have to put this value of A, B, C here. So, here we have x plus 1 upon x into x minus 1, x minus 4 
what is the value of abc yes here we have point a is here 1 by 4 upon this x plus b minus 2 by 3 upon x minus 1 plus c what is c this is 5 by 12 upon x minus 4 right so yes we have resolved this rational function in partial fraction right so in this way we have to find the values of a b c so yes we have to remember how to find the values of a b c here right so this is the method of partial fraction for non-repeated linear factors right so yes that's it for now see you in the next video thank you keep watching